bioenergy genomics, technical analysis, fundamental statistics, and new potential catalysts, several potential catalysts, along with reviewing my current positions and the price. We're starting off the price session, guys. It's looking bad. It's looking real bad. We broke this as any trend line. Well, actually, not really. We actually didn't really break this because actually, guys, technical analysis is not a perfect game. And yes, I, yesterday, if you go back, uh, yeah, we basically broke this trend line. But guys, guess what? If we move it down a little bit, like right here, if we guess if we move it down to like being perfect validations right here, that actually makes more sense. Now, now you may be wondering what the heck is this? How technical analysis works? Just changing, uh, changing stuff all the time, right? Well, well, actually, you have to change stuff a lot of the times because because low cap stocks like this are not perfectly uh, interacting with your levels all the time. Now. Whether this support line, whether this resistance line is going to be right here or right or right here, you know, we could put it right here because we have one, two, three, four ish, and then we have that one. Of course, we have more validations here, or it could be right here. We don't know for sure. Okay, it's not exactly. Okay, look at this. The, the interaction between this line and here, and the interaction between this line and here. That that's what we have to decide. You know, it's probably it's probably this, but we really don't know. You know, we have a false breakout, so I don't know. But what we do know, what I think we know, in my opinion, is this right here. Okay, I think we do have some perfect validations right here. This is why I don't think our original, uh, why yesterday's line uh, actually. This is why I think we are allowed to move it in this situation. Yeah, let's say, let's say we had it right here. Let's say this is what happened and we broke down, or let's say it's like right here. Okay, if we broke down, what happens after you've been consolidating in this uh, triangle since you know at least uh, at least the sixteenth of February, right? What happens when you break a chart pattern like that after typically almost always a strong move is what happened and obviously we got no movement okay we got none so what's more likely in my opinion is that we actually need to move it a little bit to be like right here okay because we have more recent perfect validations that is more likely and then this trend line right here it's not clear to me it's not 100 percent clear okay guys i wish we had clear chart patterns like that was easy really easy to predict not predict but really easy to draw out like where you have three four perfect touch points on this descending resistance okay that's not how life works all right that's 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 not very often you don't have that happen very commonly this is more like what you're going to be dealing with you're going to be dealing with with uh unclean chart patterns messy there's no, they're not perfect validations this is what we're dealing with i'm sticking to the price target all right now this now we could go ahead and draw it up like this then we could yeah we could go ahead and do that we're not going to do that though because that's going to be a little bit insane i'm going to do it right here this is how i'm going to draw it up personally you know you can draw it up a different way if you want but this is what i'm going to be sticking to roughly the same price target, pretty much the same price target i mean the same price target as we had yesterday right 15 dollars is the price target today obviously it was not a great day for bio nano yes we underperformed the market yes we did we underperformed the market by quite a lot three percent uh, is what the nasdaq went up uh and bio nano went up one percent on the day this is not good news is it well you know, I'm not freaking out, guys. I'm not, I'm not freaking out because Bio Nano underperformed the market one day in its uh in its in its in in the amount of time. Okay, look at this. All right, we've outperformed the market for so long, and yes, we've been downtrend. We've had a small downtrend lately, guys. I'm not freaking out. All right, I'm not. Fr you can't be. You can't be worried and considering con to sell every time something bad happens. All right, no stock is just going to be a walk in the park where you just you just consistently climb upwards. That's not how it is, man. That's not how it is. And if you think that's how it is, your heart is going to be broken one of these days. I promise you that. We are likely to continue in this pattern until March 3rd. Well, we could break early, right? On this last bullpen, we broke early. Uh, but guys, it's most likely that we're going to be in this pattern trading, you know, not a crazy percentage. Uh, difference, not a crazy amount of volatility until March 3rd to March 3rd after hours and the March 4th pre-market. That is when we're most likely to break out if this is the descending level that we're going to have. But if we go ahead and do this, if we move it down a little bit, now we have one perfect validation here along with the top one, right? Then we have a couple more recent validations right here. So guys, this is actually really exciting. If we break out to the upside here, oh my gosh, that's going to happen in the pre-market or the after hours. So just be ready. And as I said yesterday, this is the level to watch. We're, we have three support levels here. I don't, I think there's like a 5% chance, if not like a 1% chance, if not less than 
that, that we're going to break this, uh, this 38.2% retracement level or this green rectangular resistance or support level. Excuse me. The only way realistically that we break this is if some major never negative news catalyst happens or the markets just completely dump again, like 3% or 2% down again. And even if that happens, it's probably unlikely that we're going to dip below 950. It can definitely happen. I can always be wrong. I've been wrong before, but I am, I've been right. I'm probably, I'm usually, I'm more right than wrong. That's, that's darn sure. I think, at least I think so. Okay. With my price targets, I'm 83% right. Right. Okay. This is my price target. Uh, when I said 83%, I meant these, but on these ones, I have been very accurate as well. But guys, let's look at some other indicators. Let's look at the MACD and the relative strength index. Relative strength index, we're looking at 40, uh, 46.75. We're still closer to oversold, being oversold than overbought. Let's look at the daily RSI. Though. Let's look at the daily. See, we're looking at 46.85. Where again, we're closer to being oversold than overbought. This is a bullish sign. I know we underperformed the market today. I know the MACD on the daily is looking brutal. I know we're not getting 100% gains, guys. You got to stick it out. I'm telling you, this stock, I know we haven't seen great numbers, right? It's it's literally, it performed the worst out of all my stocks today, right? Literally. I'm holding all my shares, and I'm, I don't have any hesitation in saying that. I, I'm not selling. I'm down 2% right now. This is my biggest total cost by far. Uh, it's 25% of my portfolio. I've already taken profits on BioNano uh, before. Uh, lately, like the last couple of weeks, if not like month, a month or a month and a half, I've just been adding shares. And I will continue to do so. If I had more buying power, uh, I would definitely be adding more. <clears throat> as far as entry points, guys, you already know this. This is your entry point. $9.80 going down to $9.50. That's Those are going to be your entry points. Uh, let's look at the 4-hourly MACD. Okay, 4-hourly MACD is looking really good. Actually, really bullish. We recently just did have the crossover uh, or is right at the... Um, Zoom in here so I can actually see that right at the open. Actually, no, during the after hours and pre market of of going from Friday to today, we had a we had the crossover of the MACD over the signal line that is bullish. Let's look at the two hourly MACD though. We don't want to just look at one. Okay, MACD on the two hourly is also looking bullish. Daily MACD, obviously, you know this one is not as reactive as I've been saying to the price action and as far as recent price action. So this one, you know, take it for what it is. Yeah, it's bearish, but you know, take it for what it is, guys. Take it for what it is. Look at the moving averages. We have everything you want to see, guys. Please don't be that one person that panic sells at 806. Please, I beg you. I beg you, do not do that. Okay, we have the 200-day EMA below the 55-day EMA, and that is the second most important golden cross, and the most important is going to be the 200-day EMA below the 15-day EMA. We have both of those green flags, check marks. Check that off your list to know uh, as far as what you check before investing in a stock. We have both of those. Those are golden golden crosses. Check them off. Um, let's look at the Bollinger Bands. Let's see if we can get some indication as far as price action probabilities. Let's look at the daily. Okay, guys. I said this yesterday. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it every day as far as long as until, until we start going above this. I'm going to say it every day maybe. $11.79. Look right here, middle Bollinger Band in red, $11.79. That's where the middle Bollinger Band is. When you are at the bottom of the Bollinger Band or on the bottom side of the Bollinger Band, you will see more uh, pressure and more more momentum going towards that middle band wherever it is. Uh, and oppositely, conversely, on the um, when you're closer to the top side, like we were right here, you will see more momentum and more pressure to go to that middle band again wherever it is, okay? The middle band is at $11.79. We are currently trading at $9.84. We are due for an upward correction according to the Bollinger Bands, according to the Relative Strength Index. Uh, the couple, the hourly, the four hourly and the two hourly MACD, we are due for some bullish sentiment, bullish momentum going forward. And to me personally, guys, the stock is overvalued, or over, the stock is undervalued by a large, large amount right now, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. So we have a lot of good things going on. And guys, oh yeah, that's not even, that's not even taking into account this. Let's look at this chart real quick again, real full screen, full screen it real quick. All right. Um, whether this is, uh, here or there, Either way, this is a bullish formation. Either way, the price target is going to be something like this. Okay. Whether it's this or whether it's actually, you know, all the way there, I'm just going to leave it at this. All right. And I'm going to, I actually am going to leave it right here for now that I don't know which one it's going to be because by, you know, stocks like this with the volatile market that we've had, it's hard to, it's hard to know for sure which chart pattern we're actually going to be in and which descending level is, we're going to have. It's, it's hard to tell. All right. We don't know for sure. We know it's going to be, I know 90, 90, I'm 90% sure that one of these two will come to fruition. Either it's, 
either if it's this one and we're going to be breaking to the upside uh, or downside today or in the pre-market tomorrow or if it's going to be right here and we're going to be doing it on the fourth or the third okay either way the price target is really nice and guys we're not breaking i would not be worrying about breaking to the downside here and even if we do break to the downside we're going to be extremely oversold if that happens we're going to have these two levels of support and remember these rectangular level of supports they're not going to just go away right even at these ones that i don't have extended they are i i should extend these out okay but we're not even close to that point so i don't have them right now um because we have three levels of support if you're looking for an entry point in the stock and you want to play the breakout if you want to play the breakout that's fine because i've told you the entry points it's nine dollars and 80 cents any anything under ten dollars is amazing uh let's see what we're doing in after hours right now we're up 0.4 percent not too bad i guess not too bad um so that's what we're looking at as far as the price action let's look at some fundamental statistics insider ownership three percent of the total shares outstanding is owned by insider this is not this is not horrible this is not great this is slightly above average i would say institutional ownership so that is a slightly bullish sign institutional ownership 7.24 percent Again, this one is like kind of like average-ish. I would say maybe this is slightly above average. I would say nothing really crazy as far as this stuff. Okay, that's not why we like the stock. Though. We like the stock because of this stuff right here. Why the business model, what they actually do, right? The market, the demand that they're in, right? This That's the kind of things that we're actually interested in. But also this, okay? It's all, we also want to look at all, every statistic, of course. Look at everything. We don't want to just be focusing on one thing, and that's and that's the only reason why we're invested. Seven percent of institutional ownership. Uh, Seven percent institutional ownership, according to Finviz, um, that does check out. And of course, insider ownership. Um, I don't think that's true, but um, you know, this is Finviz and Finviz.io. They like to have different numbers, but we like to look at both of them to get a uh, macroscopic picture of what we're looking at. This is actually my post. It's really brief. It's really brief. It's, there's not really anything crazy in here. You guys have heard most of this, but if you if you haven't watched many of the videos, if you're new here, I will link this. Uh, don't worry about this stuff. The the <laughs> this is updated like the 10th, 11th of February. Right? That's a while ago, right? Um, but this is still good information in here. Okay, um, so that will be linked. Twitter, guys. Okay, this is a little concerning, but it's also amazing. Okay, it's both. And and to me, I'm taking this as good news. Okay, look at let's just look at how many posts they have. Okay, they have this. This look at the time. Okay, five hours ago, two hours ago, five hours ago, five five uh, five five hours ago. <laughs> five hours ago okay this is all these are all different posts read them go to their twitter and read them if you want i'm not going to read I'm, we're not going to go over these there's too many to go over okay seven hours ago <laughs> oh my gosh okay so there's like i don't know there's close to 10 posts and we didn't even and this is all good news this is all good news okay this is just showcasing uh things that their product can do things that bio nano does and things and studies that they've been doing and advancements they've been having um, it's really, it's really, look at this. 50% of patients undiagnosed by NGS and array. Sapphire, Sapphire, the best system in the world, identified interesting new variants missed by these methods. The old methods are obsolete. Sapphire can identify stuff way easily, way easier, way more efficient. Uh, it can detect stuff that goes undetected by the obsolete old system, systems, and it's more cheap and it's pretty small. All right. This is, guys. This is going this is going to pop off soon i'm telling you this is probably going to pop off soon uh, i really think it will but we will see i can be wrong always can be wrong current positions for bio nano let's look, let's look at what we're dealing with we've already hit the mark fourth price target risk personal risk evaluation for me now read this read this if you're confused on how not how all of these are not high risk right <laughs> lowest risk uh yeah we're not lowest risk. we're actually medium medium risk on bio nano any of your bear case is 50 dollars. that's very bullish a lot of people would say but that's my bear case scenario i've been right on five out of six of my actually six out of seven of my price targets uh these ones were all set on february 5th this one was set like a little shortly after that i think like a week after that so I, I don't count that just just to be like extra official and transparent i don't count that too much um but yeah, essentially, we're six out of seven on my on the month out price targets. We will see how these stack up. Obviously, we've almost hit microvision. Uh, well, I was going to say we got pretty close to Mara, but obviously, I, I'm super bullish on Bitcoin and Mara. Eighty dollars is the price target into your bear case. This was like twenty. Yeah, look, this is twenty dollars when I said that bear case price target. But yeah, going back to Bionana, one hundred to two hundred dollars bull case end of year buy hold of selling. These are not updated. I will be updating these soon, um, probably. But guys, these are all long term buys. Okay, let's just change this to a buy real quick. Uh, ten, a ten on the buy buy rating. Um, these are all long term tens, in my opinion, as far as if you should buy them and hold them 
buy and buy as much as you can in my opinion there's not financial advice okay you just gotta gotta be careful okay <laughs> this is the real this is the irrelevant section relevant information in regards to the title is finished now feel free to click off this is the part where i will do the stuff that most youtubers do in the first five seconds because they don't care for your time i do you're welcome my friends plus cool stuff as well extra useful information for beginners especially when should we live stream this isn't really useful information right this is just this is just irrelevant information right this is the irrelevant section when should we live stream let me know in the comments uh, and make sure you put your time zone. Um, yeah, I'm going to do I'm going to do a little uh, what do you call it? A poll or a post. Uh, yeah, so you guys can vote on that. Make sure you guys vote on that. I'll be I'll be doing that right after this probably. Uh, subreddit coming soon within the next 30 days, nearly 28 days now. That's when we're, that's when it will be coming. If there's any other pieces of information slash websites that should be added along with stuff we normally cover, such as the catalyst, the due diligence, Finviz, insider ownership, institutional, right? Uh, let me know if, in the comments. And if you really want me to see it for sure, I recommend this email right here, BrandonBallCL.com. Guys, everyone will make mistakes. Don't expect perfection from anyone. It's used several brokers. The platform I am using for technical analysis is Webull Free Stocks. Link uh, to, getting, to getting them it will be in the description below. Pre-market and after hours trading, you will be granted access to this. It is essential. I recommend it very strongly. The future does not consist of me asking for likes, asking for subs put in ads in the videos, regardless of how much success. And if I do, I might do this stuff, but I don't think I will ever. But even if I do, I promise you that it will never be in the relevant section. This that we are in right now, this is the irrelevant section where you are at my mercy. I will rant. I've been known to rant about very off topic things. Uh, I also do a quote of one of my favorite movies or shows or books or something. Uh, I, that's, that's like what I've been doing. And I've been working on my accent. Okay. That just shows you how irrelevant this section is. Okay. Um, so yeah, our business model never changed. That's my promise to y'all. Bio to the moon. Ah, it hurts. It hurt. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that we're up on the day, but it does hurt that we're underperforming the market. But guys, I'm holding, I'm holding all my shares diamond hands. I don't care if we go back down to $8, 806 again, 806 again. If we go back down to 806 again, I will be laughing at the people who sell then and still be making fun of them. Uh, cause we have diamond hands and we're going to be rich long term. We're going to be golden on the stock. Every man dies. Not every man really lives. Oh, my Scottish accent is so bad. I can't do a Scottish accent. Wish I could, but this is from Braveheart, William Wallace, legend. This is not financial advice. Thank you all so much. See you on the next one.